Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Abel Freak and today we'll compare speed test between this iPhone SE second generation and iPhone 11. I will just quickly boot them up at the same time and see which one is quicker at that point. 3 to 1. Cool. And like always guys, if you are new to the channel, subscribe will be really awesome. I will give them the best position in the minute, uh, middle of this video. And after that we will check for the... What is about this lighting? I'm really not sure. I will set the... Again. Everything is fine right now. And you are the rush here, guys. Which one is quicker? You saw that. I didn't because I have some flashing in on the corners of this video. So I need to check that out. But I will show you right now the software update for these two device there is no software update for them general software update and that's exactly it i will put the case this one doesn't have a uh, internet right now so we need to see in a couple of seconds and we'll be back and you can see your software is up to date on both of these two devices let's go back to home screen Right now we have to remove that from the background and we can start just right now with a phone dialer. Pretty much the same guys, messages, same, app store, quicker on this iPhone SE, settings, same. What about Facebook? SE a little bit quicker, WhatsApp, same, Viber, this was pretty close, I will say iPhone 11 did a better job, YouTube, same, Instagram, same, Wish, Slightly faster on this iPhone SE, second generation, Snapchat, same. So we are here just guys to see uh, did they uh, change anything in terms of perform in terms of performance if you buy SE second generation or if you buy this iPhone 11. I already know that they didn't change anything, but here are a lot of people who think they uh, did something, you know, to make this iPhone SE cheaper than just the, the display and form factor, but they didn't, the speed is totally the same and we are here just to mention that and show you that. PUBG Mobile, <laughs> even uh, quicker on this iPhone SE. Let's go back. Angry Birds 2, where uh, they cannot uh, show you the best deal is in terms of uh, giving that performance at maximum level. I will show you what I'm talking about just at the end when we start to using 3D Mark Wildlife test and we will do I think two, two of that tests so we can check the uh, ther thermal throttling of this iPhone SE second generation. What is wrong with this one? Let's do this again. There was some problem with this subway surface. 3 to 1, go. Everything's fine. Let's go back to home screen. Temple run 2. Now I failed to click on this SE. Let's go. 3 to 1, go. A little bit quicker on this iPhone 11, I don't know why. Let's go back to home screen. We have Among Us. And, and, and. Exactly the same. Even this SE was a little bit quicker. What about uh, color switch? iPhone 11. And right now we have this 3D Mark wildlife test where I will show you why these two devices are in day-to-day -day usage will be pretty much the same but if you want to play games there 
is a better choice to buy this iPhone 11. Let's just wait and see the results. And here are the results. You can see better frame rate on this iPhone 11 45 uh, versus 39. Let's do this again so we get that heat a lot more. So we get even more frame drop on this SE. Let's just wait and see the results. So here are the second results, as you can see, even more of a frame dropping with uh, starting of 39, uh, 39, right now is 34. This was uh, on iPhone 11 was 45, right now is 40. Of course, both will frame drop, but this SE is more uh, into it because, uh, you know, a smaller form factor will uh, heat much faster because a smaller place to heat up is a lot easier than a bigger place to heat up so that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching and like always we will see you in the next one peace